and good morning and welcome to my channel on this beautiful Algarve morning here in my garden. Today I'm super excited because I'm starting the bus. First of all, I've got to move it into position and that's what I'm going to do any minute now. But that means that in a few weeks time, I'm going to be able to settle down somewhere clean and tidy to sleep in, to sit outside and hopefully get into that plunge pool. So come and join me. I'm going to crack on. That took about two hours to position that bus and get its spirit level flat. So I'll come round my brothers for a cup of tea while I'm here. That bit of land at the back there, you see, that connects to mine about 15 minutes walk away. And I often come down through the trees when I've been up in the hills and down onto that track. And down there, he's got his little tractor. That's a little toy. That really did just look like a toy, but I am up on the balcony up there just to show you, it's actually adult size, but only just. This is going to be one of my other little projects for them to, uh, when I painted my tractor, I said I'd come down and tidy theirs up. But just to prove that it isn't a toy toy, it doesn't matter. Hey God, it's still, I can't, there's no angle I can get on it that doesn't make it look like a toy. But he does manage to squeeze his butt cheeks on there. Oh look, figs. Almost ready. And plums too, wow. So you may have noticed that the bus isn't exactly where I left it last night. I had a little think about it and this morning I decided, what the hell, I'm gonna move it. So it is now down in this bottom right hand corner. It's a little bit further away and tucked away from the house, but it is near the fence, the little gate that I'm gonna be putting in there and the, um, little bridge that I'm going to have over the stream so I'm going to have good access in and out so now that's there I can get on before I start the inside I'm going to paint the bus Job. I think that looks pretty good. So I came back this morning. It's pretty good. I'm going to fill this in and hopefully I can get on with the painting afterwards. Six coats. My impatience is going to make me do something I don't want to do. pleased with that. Got the primer on there. That's come out well. You wouldn't know. So, time to mask it and paint it. Right, it's all taped up. Took a little bit longer than I thought, but it's ready now. So I'm going to start with the spray can and then get on with the brush. Right, we 
we've given this whole lot one coat of paint and you may notice here that this green on this side looks uh, a little bit shiny and that's because it is. I used a spray can on there so I could get into all the little cracks that I couldn't get to with the brush. I know this still looks a little bit rubbish. It does look pants, I know. Uh, we did have a bit of rain last night as well, which didn't help. Um, but two coats over that, it'll look all right. The thing is now though, is that I'm starting to wonder whether I chose the right color. Same as the tractor, it looked all right on that. But I am wondering, so I'm gonna have to have a little think about this. I've added another three odd days onto, onto this and uh, it is what it is, but I had to do it. And let me just quickly explain why. I painted it in the green, one coat, liked it, took a photo, went back up there, laying in bed, I thought, oh, I've got to get a photograph on the phone. And the first thing I noticed is that that green is just clashing with every single green around here. So much so that although the color isn't, isn't bad, it's on the road, it's great, but where it is, it's to a point where it's so close but so far, so it looked worse and stood out even more. And so I should have known, when I was at Tractor and I was finishing that, and I said, right down to the bus, I said, oh, I really kind of like, wish I was doing it another color because I think they're boring doing everything one color. And, uh, and that should have been a signal to me that I knew that this wasn't going to work, but I wasn't listening because I was too excited to get there. So here we are, here's the bus. I've, I've sanded it down in areas, not all of it, down to the metal. And the reason I did that was because I used a roller and it had gimbals. And uh, if I'm going to respray it, I want it to be, as it were, uh, I think I'm just going to stop for a second and have a little think about this. So I'm going to go for a walk with the dogs. While they're resting, I'm gonna take you down to the bus and just show you where we're at now. And beige it is, and I'm pretty happy with that. I think it's a nice color and it'll go really well with the decking. I've got a plan for these strips now, but you can see I made a bit of a boo-boo and I think I'm about to regret it. I've been hammering away at this strip, trying to get it straight with no joy, unfortunately, and it's slightly twisted. And I could be doing this for a long time before I get it to a point where I'm comfortable with it being on the bus and not looking like it's been in an accident. So I've used plan B. I can use it for something else. I went to the hardware store and I found these plastic strips, which I think was quite a good find. Unfortunately, they're not the same depth uh, as the original ones but I did find these ones and there's a four centimeter and a two centimeter, the only sizes they do. And combined, that gives me six centimeters, which is the same as what I have here. I'm not entirely sure what possessed me to take that strip off the bus in the first place. There was a tiny bit sticking out by the door and I thought if I pull it off, I can just glue it all back on again. And then I realized it was metal and not plastic. So a little lesson there. I'm not gonna be making any more mistakes on this bus from now on. You know, considering that has had two different colors on there and I really hacked it up, painting it outside with different conditions, pulling that strip off, I think that's pretty good. It's a tiny bit patchy here and there, but I am gonna come back to that after I've done the inside, along with the black areas as well. But I think I can make it look a lot better. So I'm gonna start the insides now. Insides, we're here, we're inside. The outside, uh, gone as far as it's gonna go for the minute. So this morning, I had to go and get some glue adhesive because I'm gonna be putting the flooring down. So first thing that I'm gonna do is show you around. Okay, welcome inside my bedroom. This at the back is where the bed is gonna go. Where I'm standing is probably gonna be seating area somewhere that I can sit down do some editing and chill out especially when it's raining 
I've removed everything, pretty much everything that was detachable. I've taken it out and now I get a good clean, fresh start in here. These are the insulation boards. They're fairly thick and I want them to be because it needs to be fairly warm in here. And that's going on the floor. This is a snapping laminate and it's, I don't know, it has to say, it looks pretty good to me. I, a 30 year guarantee, so it'll outlive me. So these runners I'm gonna leave in place. They were really tough to take out. The bolts are rusted. You can see the ones I did take out left these holes. So I'm gonna silicon them all in and then I'm gonna use this spray foam. <laughs> so the, uh, Spray foam nozzle wasn't working very well. I had to leave it on and then just leave it running. So I made a real mess. But I think I'll leave it just to do its thing. When it's dry, I can tidy it all up and then carry on. While that's drying, I just sort of popped back to my brothers to see how I was getting on with that tractor because I'm curious to see how well that does. And to my amazement, he's actually done a really good job. He's covered a really large area, that small tractor. Well done, James. Right, back to the bus and I think I'm going to start um, at the door end of the bus and all around in that flatter area and then work my way towards the back. Not a lot I can say on this one other than it's now officially start point of actually making a difference to this bus so I can't wait. <laughs> Well, it's getting a bit dark now, but I think I did really well there. Isn't it amazing how quickly you can work when you really want to, eh? <laughs> so now I'm going to do the laminate. because it took me quite a while to level out this bus. I was just thinking, what is it like now? So I got the spirit level out and look at that. And if I go horizontal, that is pretty much perfect. Absolutely spot on. Brownie points for me.
holy bouncing blueberries. Bugger me. Christ. I'm so hot. I'm going under a tree, that's why I'm here. Oh my God, right. Calm down. Calm down. The combination of the sun going through that window, the exposed metal to the sunlight, with no insulation on the inside, it just made the inside of that bus like an oven. It's so hot. Oh, and I've got horse flies nibbling at my ankles. Uh, right. Oh, I'm going to end this now because uh, we got a little bit of rain coming this evening and I want to test to see whether I fix that leak in the ceiling. Fingers crossed I have. I'll soon find out. I don't want to put the laminate down until I've spotted that and hopefully uh, I won't have to, but if I do have to, make sure I fix the problems first. So, ending this video now, I'm gonna end by saying thank you very much, as always, for watching, and I hope you enjoyed that. Next one should be even more exciting. Uh, so, thumbs up if you did like it. Subscribe, please, that always helps. And I'm gonna to pretend to walk off in that direction and uh, not look as if I'm holding the phone. So, bye for now. <laughs>